Welcome, welcome to episode 12 of the Movie Hour. I am episode Bogart. Episode fucking 12. I'm Bogart Scott Free. And I'm B. Motherfucking Franklin. And we are, are two, two of, of the, the world's, world's greatest, greatest ponderers. Fucking ponderers. Yes, and we, we have a very special guest. Go ahead, Frank. Very, very Go ahead and introduce guest. our special guest. Our special guest coming from San Jose, California. Beep, 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 beep. Shout out. This Gina. Do I introduce myself or you guys? Yes. No, you. You got it. Yes. Boom. You're on. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Regina. Hey. Hey, welcome. Welcome to the show. Welcome, welcome to the Mui Hour. You know what I'm saying? Great we, to have you. Thanks for having me. I'm really, really honored to be on the show with you. Hey, hey we're honored to have you on it. I'm, I'm honored to hear you say that because, you know, honestly, we're just, we're just, we're just some fools. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we we're are, but we are two, two of the of world's, the world's greatest, greatest ponderers. Ponders. This is very true. This is <laughs> yes. very, very true. Uh, great ponder. Yes, exactly. Yes, that's just, why you are here. Exactly. Like we we yeah. always we seek out to find other great ponderers like yourself. Yes. You know yes. What I'm, saying? I'm, I'm glad you recognize that. As yeah. well, Berto sent me the podcast when you guys started, and I've been listening, so I do like it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank shout you. out to you. You know what's funny too is my girl. She finally started listening. She's like, "Yo, it's really fucking funny." And I'm like, "I know, right?" And she's <laughs> right? like, "I binge." She was like, "I binge listened the last five episodes." And she was at work, and she was like, "All of a sudden, my shift was was done." And I'm like, right. "That's what podcasts are about." There's, you know what I mean? There's, you know, there, and, and, and you know, this is the movie hour, and we usually keep it, you know, hovering around an hour. But at the same, right. at the same token, it's like. There is a market for people out there. They sit and they listen to conversations because, you know what I mean? Radio doesn't offer that a, a anymore. You know, it's it's a dinosaur as far as in the radio world. And podcasting is just that real ism. You know what I mean? It's just... It's that ism. Yeah, it's that ism. You know I'm saying? definitely a podcast fanatic right now. I definitely listen to podcasts way more than just listening to music because it's, you know... It do kind do of you like fuck with lip service? Huh? Do you fuck with? Have you ever heard of lip service, Angela Yee? No, I listen to Bigger Pockets, which is like a real estate investing. Oh, nice! Podcast. And then I listen to a bunch of murder podcasts. <laughs> oh, I lo oh, oh, I love God. those. So tell, tell us about the murder podcast. Yes, yeah, tell us. What, hey, so if, so you, what, hold on, hey, what, hold on, Frank. What, you do know you yeah. can't kill anyone now, Gina, because they will look at your history of what you've been tuning into, and they're like, "This is where she got the ideas." <laughs> Hey, and she's one of the world's greatest founders. Yes, I know. So they're gonna know she's on to something. She's on to something. Right. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, damn it. But I probably would know how to hide the body. <laughs> For sure. Oh shit. Full full disclosure. Uh, my uh, favorite full disclosure. Full full and disclosure. I um I love the like, serial killer documentaries. I love um Hit, uh, hit mafia hitman documentaries, and and I'm glad because then you know now that that's all in my searches, I you know I, I I will never be compelled to kill someone for real. But also like I wanted to do that for a living, like behavioral science. Like when I in my young my young days, I wanted to be the guy who like yes, he's a 35 year old white male, um, you know, five eight. You know what I'm saying? Like you know I, I would be able to diagnose. You still can do it if you want to. Nah, but I've seen the movie. Oh. I've seen the movie Seven, and I, I I already seen how that thing played out for that guy. You guys remember That's Seven? Funny. Yeah, yeah, I know. yeah, where Brad Pitt, where you know what I mean? Like, like there was the serial killer, and he would like kill oh, yeah. with the Seven Deadly Sins, and and then he right. ended up he ended up killing uh, Brad Pitt's wife, and you know, God forbid that, you know what I mean? So. That's why I'm podcasting. <laughs> How about that? That's why. That's why I'm podcasting. Yeah. In, it. Instead of hunt, hunting down serial killers, you know, this is where I belong. You know what I mean? Oh, I can dig it. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what, Frank? Let's let's go ahead and, and handle some housekeeping. You know what I mean? Oh, ten four. Ten yeah. Ten so four. Uh, for for all the Mui gang out there, go ahead and follow us at the GMM Network on IG. Also follow us on Twitter at the GMM Network. You can also follow me on IG at Bogard Scott Free World. You know what I'm saying, uh, Franklin? Do you still uh, choose to remain anonymous, uh, elusive, and anonymous? Correct. Yes, you know what I'm saying? but you could also you, know, you could find them at our at our proud sponsor at theclothingco.com. Yes, shopping, correct? Right. Or you get you get you some also, merch. Mm -hmm. You can find me at World's Fried Chicken. Ooh. Stuff in my A. Hey, stuff Ooh. in my face. Oh, I'm you're making you know I'm, I'm starting to salivate with the right now. Slider, I'm with the salivating. Mega sandwich. Yes, Ooh. stupid salivation. Is that the one with the jalapeno dogs? 
what the jalapenos. Okay? I seen that. The jalapenos. Yes, that's the those. world's fried yeah. chicken beef. Right. Or sometimes, you know, on the weekends, I like to do the Legends Mac, man. You know mm. what I'm saying? I like to well, you are you are a legendary Mac yourself, so it's just understandable. Oh, you know, hey, hey. It's allegedly, you know, allegedly, allegedly. No, no. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we just want to, you know, you know, first, you know, you know, first and foremost, again, Gina, thank you for being on the show. Yes, man. thank you, Gina. You know what I'm saying? Because your 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 perspective is going to be golden. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And this will forever be marked in, in our history books. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And I hope today... In the movie oh, books. <laughs> right. The, the, the movie, movie yeah, books. The, yeah, yeah, the movie books. Hey, we are, hey, we're going to write a book. I swear, <laughs> yeah. I swear to God, we're going to write a book, dude. Everything is movie. Everything's movie. And, and then chap, chapter one will be... To, you know, introducing two of the world's greatest ponderers. The greatest. You know <laughs> that's the next endeavor. You guys have to do a book. That's other way of getting passive income. Yeah, and yeah. and we'll do an audiobook version too, <laughs> narrated by me. And I'll do I'll do my best Australian accent. Uh, yeah. This is the movie hour. And it's <laughs> chapter one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. Okay. But funny. yes. Yes. But okay. once again, shout out to our sponsors, BayClothingCo.com. Shout out to World's Fried Chicken. Yeah. You know Still Australian accent because I don't hear it anymore. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. I said, I said when we do the when we do the audio book, when we yeah, do the audio book. book. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That was the audio book. You said I was still looking for the Australian accent. <laughs> I can dig it. Well, good day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Huh. she was like, she was like, yes. Shout out to our sponsors. Hold on, shout out to our sponsors hey, from that's... down under. Right, that was more like an English, huh? Uh, uh, you know what? That might might even kind of sounded like a. You know what? This is this. We're we're, we're from the East Side, San Jose. You know what I'm saying? God damn it! Uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, go, one more time, run, go ahead and run those sponsors back because I want I, I want you to make sure that uh, that you know I don't fuck up the uh, the IGs and all that. So again, you know where you can get your hottest Bay apparel for your Bay boy and Bay girl apparel. Go to Bay Clothing Co. You know football season is about to still be popping. We're mm-hmm. big quarantining, right? This is your perfect opportunity to start stocking up on your shit from now and get yourself your hats, hoodies, mm-hmm. and things of those natures. Two, if you're in the South Bay area, you need to definitely hit up World's Fried Chicken. You catch World's Ooh. Fried Chicken on IG. You find them on IG, place your orders through IG, boom, make it happen. Yep. And that's Let- at World's Fried at- Chicken. At World's Fried Chicken. On then IG. you also got, right, on IG. Then you got Legends Mac. Yeah. Legends Mac, as I must say, listen, man, if you guys want to pull a little quick little din din, fire. You know what I mean? Fire. Yep. Legends Mac, you also find them on IG, DM them. And, That's and, how you uh, get your orders in. Are they still rocking with the direct line? Are we still able to give the direct line? You know what? Nah, 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 you got it. You got a DM, yeah, DM. But, all, okay. but also, also, Bogey, I need you to talk about your sponsors that you got on deck yeah, there. Yeah. The well, Young Milk. Also, shout out to our shout out to our other proud sponsor, Milk and Honey TX. For all your CBD wellness and all your CBD goodness, visit yes. www.milkandhoneytx.com. Also, yes. check me out at rumboys.com. Shout out to the shout out to the uh, all the rum boys and girls out there. You know what I'm saying? You, and you can find us live every Friday night at the Run Boys After Dark. You know what I'm saying? But but for all your all all our merch and uh, you know all the latest articles from all, all the most innovative sports journalists and writers out there, visit rumboys.com. That's R U M B O Y Z dot com. Okay, and then now is it safe to say? Bay clothing, coat, give me money. World give me stupid fried money. chicken, give me money. What Stupid else we got? Money. Legendary Mac, give me money. Stupid what, shout. What, what else we got? Oh yeah, oh, we got one more. Oh yeah, what? milk and honey, give me money. Boom. Stupid money. Okay, all the housekeeping out the way. <laughs> how are you guys doing? Yeah, Gina, how you doing with this quarantine? I'm, how you holding up? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I was just muting my phone because I have the airplanes going over because I live in the beautiful oh. east side too, right? Show! Oh, good. Show! Look, look, look at how considerate you are. I love it. Let's throw some shows for, for the east side. Oh, yeah, it is, uh, it is, uh, it is uh, uh, Cinco Domingo week, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, shout out, shout out to all uh, the, the Mexicans out there, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And, my people. Okay, let me ask you something, Gina. 
So it, what what is Cinco de Mayo for, for all the Muy gang that doesn't really are, aren't aware of like what is that is that like because I'm 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 curious too because I'm I'm ignorant where I used to think it was just a time you go out and people ride their low riders and then, you know and bitches are busting their titties out and shit like that like whoa 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 oh I'm sorry I'm sorry I have this trigger I have this trigger for the right thing listen hey go ahead. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. Right. I've That's had a few. Good. I've had a few. Right. It's been like uh, five it, minutes. It, I'm already it, it, the two drinks. It, it, it's okay. We're, we're gonna keep. We're, we're gonna keep it. Well, I am. I am. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, I'm I am one of two that. of the world's greatest ponderers, so I am actually right. pondering this. Like, what is right. Cinco so de Mayo? Right. So let's let Gina go ahead and 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 and, and hit us with her definition of, of what Cinco de Mayo is to her. So let's go ahead and let her go ahead and okay. hit us with that. Go ahead, Gina. That is an excellent uh, question, and I would say Cinco de Mayo for. Us, if you grew up on the east side, if you grew up in San Jose, it's more of like a way for us to celebrate our culture, come together. Sometimes people are uh, not making the best decisions, maybe <laughs> being nude, I guess would be one of <laughs> Come on, you know, you know I wasn't lying when I said that. For us to showcase like the hard work that we put into things that we love, like our cars and yes. our neighborhood. So, you know, it's like a fun way to just kind of like preach for the body this 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 culture that not everybody gets to experience so actually i would say we're in the heart of the cinco de mayo world for sure because be, uh, that's like a northern that's like a northerner thing right i mean i'm not saying no I'm not, but it, on a different it's not, level it's okay like, okay i'm sorry corporations oh. to make like money off of our people as well and kind of oh. make money but, so so yeah, so, so in a different way See, but so so let me ask you this question, you know, how do you feel about that when you put it in that perspective of making the money out for your people? Do you feel that uh, more Chicanos should take advantage of Cinco de Mayo and use that as a platform to, you know what I'm saying, make revenue? Or do you take that as in like in a, as in a distasteful type of way? No, how do you I see that? Them, like, you, you know, see some of the car clubs and they really like are doing good for the community. You'll see them like during... The holidays and they'll be raising money or they'll be um, doing like toy drives that's the perfect way i think to nice that, um, I love that exposure in a positive way so uh and i mean i i, I don't want to be like a, a a poser i don't have a low rider and I, <laughs> I'm, nice. I don't have a boy, my boyfriend doesn't have a low rider you know like we're yeah. i have like a different kind of um culture but i the do low I love ride <laughs> gets a little higher <laughs> my personal path has been a little bit different, but I do love. I love. No. I I love going cruising when when it is when we can and. So, so 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 let me let me also ask you this question, okay? It's Cinco de Mayo. You actually, it's, 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 and no no no, yeah, stupid showers, right? And actually, you know, we're gonna call this is it's it's uh it's the shower it's, hour. Uh, no 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 no, it's a uh, Cuatro de Mayo, right? Ooh, it's the okay. fourth of fucking. Okay, I hey, see it's you. The, it's the, bilingual it's the, fourth, on it's the fourth of May, right? Okay. You know what's popping? Cinco de Mayo, right, Gina? Yeah. Well, you you did say me. hold on. You said fourth and, of May. And, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, right. But this is the prep. It's before Cinco Because I am a nerd. I am a nerd. You said 4th of May. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, let me me get it out, my guy. Okay, so look. My question is, right, and you got the Cinco de Mayo party popping at your house. What's on your menu? What is your Cinco (laughs) de Mayo menu? It's a good question, Frank. I would say that, you know, we all go through different stages. And when I was a teenager, I remember, like, just being able to walk out to King & Story with my girlfriends. And we'd walk around. It'd be fun. And then yeah. 10 years ago, Leg- I guess, we had, like, gang, legendary of streets, party. legendary but streets, now, king and story. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, let, let, was, legend, I want to hear this. And now as, like, a grown woman with children, even though I live right around the corner from where all that's happening, to me, single the mile was on a Tuesday, and it's like, I should, I'm not, I'm not worried about uh, partying or making, like, a single the mile dinner, I was studying, and well, look, how about this? Let's preface this. Okay, okay. Let's, let's go back, Hypo- back in the days. Okay. Back in the days. Hi- what, what hypothetically, it? okay? Hypothetically. Okay, there you go. There you go. Better. Want the fun answer? Yes. Hypothetically, you got the spread going on at the house. Big food. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Mariachi it's li- band. It's, yeah, it's, no, no, it's liquors of your choice. I just want to know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, pay well, what? what's your what's the, What's your guy's sponsor? The world famous... The world, world, world oh shit! I like your style. I know, right? <laughs> oh my! Listen, 
you might have to be a regular, okay? Yes. Being a, a, this being is, this is actually an interview. Gina, little do you know, this is an interview. We have tacos at our house, like, regularly. We love tacos, so everybody... Ooh. Ooh. I, would, I would prefer to get some world-famous fried chicken. <laughs> Holy yes. shit. So, so you're telling me on Single and Mile, we're doing stupid tacos and stupid world's famous fried chicken. Yes. yes. Super oh, stupid. my shit. She said, hey, she said yes like she already envisioned it. I love it. <laughs> God damn it. We might have to hey, just make Single and Mile we got some ceviche going? Is there ceviche? Dude, can we say there's ceviche? I fucking love well, ceviche. Uh, yes, I fuck oh, with yeah, a ceviche. I, love, I make my own ceviche? Stupid yes. And can we say Tapatio, give me money? It's a must. Stupid Tapatio, give me money. Tapatio, give okay. me money. <laughs> Tapatio, show. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Show. Yes. Bro, ta- bro, I'm about to DM Tapatio, dog. Fuck that shit. I'm about to DM him. Okay. Well, in, 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 light, in light of you know, it, it being so I'm getting late for the podcast. I gotta, I'm trying to, I don't want to be too deep. I'm going to have to find the fine line between being funny and. <laughs> no, 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 listen, no, no. Be hey, you. Listen, be listen you. you get to just be you. It's okay. Yeah, because when, I understand every time, we're staying within the guidelines of the bumpers, but just well, be yes. you. Then let me just say this. I have no fucking idea what single the mind yeah. came from. <laughs> 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 and I'm not even a Mexican. I know I'm that is in September. I know the single of the mile probably has something to do with some shit, but I don't know what it's about. Hey, hey, straight up. All I know is, you know what? I get to drink super Chavelas that day, okay? Yeah, There's Chavelas, of, give me hey, money. Hey, stupid Chavelas, give me showers. Show, show okay? <laughs> but I do and know, I like to defend, you know, the culture and stuff when I can. No, hey, all sure, I know is sure. that, hey, all I know is that there's hella freaky hyenas, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Short, tall, skinny, flaca. We like hey, the girls. All the shapes and sizes. Listen, let's, listen, ladies <laughs> out there, Franklin, <laughs> Franklin is a, is a good catch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Gina. Yeah. So, can, can we get, like, statute of limitation going, like, can we like because we are all grown can we go back and like can we just talk about some memories from like, like what's a good single to my memory like going out downtown and you know what i mean like, yes what's your best what's your best single to my memory that comes to your brain i mean i'm pretty sure a lot of them are blurry <laughs> like during those days I remember, I remember going out one time when i was fully pregnant with my wow. son and then, you know, my girlfriends were like just go it's fine it's fine you know you're gonna have fun and i'm like uh and then at this, the minute we got on the strip, I was like, this is a, such a ghetto, horrible decision. <laughs> <laughs> hey. like, Please take me back, please. But then, you know, sure. we're running, we're running with a mild traffic, so I'm out there like seven months pregnant. Yeah, because then once, you, my, get, once you get in that traffic, you're kind of in stuck. My girl, in, my, in my little sister's fucking Durango, Dodge Durango. Oh, That's hella God. funny. With my little bump, so I just had the window. That is so Sano. That's so hey, Eastside. Hey, no, That's so Eastside. So, hey, sh- hey, you know what? That deserves a show. Oh, my gosh, okay. No, I, have show. A great, I have a great one, but I can't take credit for it. It was my girlfriend. So I, I love this. This We were we were uh, cruising one time, and, you know, when you're cruising, of course, part of that goes with. Uh, you're like dudes are, trying to holler? Trying to get at you. Dudes are yeah. trying to holler all the time. Fuck yeah. No, and it doesn't matter like what you look like, what they look like. Just whatever car comes up to you, they're but yes, but, but yes, Mui gang, so. Mui gang. They, you know, so what, they, so they are. Hold on, 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 I know he's so excited. He gets so excited. I'm born like this. <laughs> so we're cruising, and this car pulls up to us, and these guys yell out. Hey girl, you look familiar. What's blah, blah, whatever to one of my girlfriends and my That's girlfriend. So whack. Yes, you know what? I do know you. And he's like, really? Yes. Remind me from where? And she's like, you got me pregnant last year. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hell shit. Of and oh, I, did he skirt off? Like, did, he, did he? Did he dip? The, oh, they dipped so fast and we were stupid ah, quiz. So, it's so hard. Oh, oh and, and, and now, good. with that said, Mui Gang, I want to tell you guys all out there, wrap it up. You know what I'm saying? Wrap it up. 
don't don't be out there raw dogging. Live the fuck another day. And if you do get women pregnant, please take care of those children. Well, if you didn't get her pregnant, just no, I know. It, it's just a hell. Of, that's a hell of a one liner. <laughs> Bro, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want to know. I just want to know if you can see my eyes, dog. That's <laughs> what the motherfucker the got fuck? wide, he got wide eyed in the motherfucker. He was like, "No, nah, hell no." My shit said, "What the fuck?" <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? No, I always love that story. It's kind of like yeah. a true depiction of how dudes act all the time. Fra- Franco, hey, you know what? Tell me a story, Listen. Franco. T- give me, give me one. Give me one. You know. I got one next. Yeah, you know, I'm on the same. Hey, hey I'm first of all, Gina, I'm, I'm, he be trying I'm not to reference his past. He's, he tries to stay as elusive as possible. And I be trying to, I be trying to dig it out of him. Pause. Right, right. You know I mean? Hey, so no, Gina's known me for a long time. Hi. Okay. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, but uh, I want to say one of my best Cinco de Mayo memories is uh i'm gonna say when i first got my l's okay and, oh yeah that and, old school did you already have the old school right okay. and um no nah, but i was riding i was riding my brother's camaro okay and then like we were just out there swinging donuts yeah okay eights in the street oh uh, thing man and then this was back when king road had the 7-eleven on it right before yep. story road Okay, so everybody would just meet up right there, and it would just be yanking okay. right oh, across okay. the street. I know which one you're talking right, about. Not right. the one by no, Rigoletto. Right. I'm not Rigoletto. No, the, not the no, one by. The uh, one that was, no, the one that's by Tropicana, right yes, there. Yes, okay. There you go. I'm sorry. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. They used to be right there. All right, we was out there going fucking hard in the paint, and it was just you know all the homies, and we're like fifty plus fucking hooligans deep. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And I fucking love that shit. You know what I mean? Like I love the the. The fucking hype, the energy, yeah, the com- you know what I'm saying, the camaraderie, and, and because you got before. mad handles too, so you was like, no, nah. you got mad nah. handles. Nah, man, I just love, I love being around people, man. I no, love, but you I'm know, talking being, about mad handles people, as in like when you're no, swinging them, it's an art form. No, too. no, no, no. I'm telling you what the fuck. This is what was you know memory to me for the things of the mile. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. I'm saying like you know what I'm saying like that's what I love. I love being out there with the folks and you know what I'm saying all the freaky highness. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, was I, was, I was waiting for that part. I was like, I know there's, there's, there's a part they, somewhere. Hey, Sadio, they know I love them. They love me too. You know what I'm saying? Hey, <laughs> hi- highness, give me money. <laughs> highness, give me stupid money. <laughs> hey, G- hey, Gina, you still there? Can we get a shower? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, sh- no shows? Fuck, dude. No, 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 no. She prefaced that before we when we were off air. We are going to do that for her. You know what I mean? She said no showers. No, nah, but it was always fun. Like, bro, we used to barbecue. Like, you do barbecuing, everybody coming through, fucking drinking, kicking it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that shit was fucking hella fun. That's what I loved. You know as, what I'm as the youngsters would say, it was a litty. Yeah, stupid litty. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, I got one. I remember being a, a young, ignorant, like, you know, and I'm not even Mexican. <laughs> so we go out there to, to chase said highness. You know what I'm saying? And like, you know, I, I used to kick, I, I used to kick it with, uh, you know, I mean, not used to, I still to this day, shout out to Kali, you know what I'm saying? And Kali is an African-American gentleman, right? And like, he, he was a part of a, a car club. And so we would just ride, you know, he would drive one of the cars and we would ride, right? And like, you know, it's the same way, like how, you know, all, all the, ign- all the ignorant, um, young fellas out there would be hollering at all these bitches. Like, you know, oh, these, these, these young bops would like be trying to holler at us because we're in like these nice cars and shit. And, it's, and, it was, and it was crazy because like my memories were like of like motherfuckers turning cars over and like, <laughs> and like, bro, like literally like lighting cars on fire, like parked cars what and shit. The- Remember that shit? Oh, no, like I remember the, that year. Right, yeah. Oh, and like, hey, Gina, Gina, do you remember that year? When motherfucking straight up, we like San Jose, downtown San Jose got tore the fuck up. Yeah, like <laughs> motherfuckers like turning like, cars over. Like, yeah, and then they weren't able to do it anymore. Ever again. Dude, ever dude, again. Dude, hey, that, hey, hey, that was back when Tunes was popping. Tunes was popping. <laughs> Shout out to Tunes. It's an example of the ignorant few fucking it up for everybody else. You know? I know, right? Like, that small percentage. Somebody's car on fire. 
That's crazy. Yeah, and it, no, no, check this out. Okay, I'm gonna share something with you, with you guys. So, like, you know, we we're all parked and we're out there. You know, we were contributing to the turning of the cars over and <laughs> shit like that, right? And you know, it was the hyphy, it was the hyphy days. Yeah, I was, uh, yeah, we're so we're st we're like jumping on parked cars and stomping hoods out and we're just, yeah, we're, yeah, fuck yeah, right? And then check this out, bro. <laughs> A fucking goddamn policeman on on horseback came up and like he's just plowing through the crowd and he he, he what are the what is the shit the reins is that my saying that right you know the shit that you pull on for the horse yeah. Oh, yeah am I saying that right he pulls the reins swings the horse's head and it knocks me to the ground <laughs> like <laughs> me knock me to the ground. Like me and like three individuals. It's a fucking horse, dude. The yeah, fucking dude, horse. And, but you know what? I deserved it. I definitely dog, deserved like, it. You gotta be like Conan, dog, and sock that motherfucker in his jaw, dog. You listen, a horse. Bam, I, listen, I've horse. seen Mike Tyson knock a horse out, but like this, I'm not Mike Tyson. You know what I mean? This horse, this horse, bro. And it would have been police brutality if I attacked that horse. He is, he is an officer. That horse. Shout out to that horse. That horse knocked me protecting clear you, to the ground. Protecting you, protecting yeah, well, you. Now you can say you've been assaulted by an officer and serve. For real, bro. Uh, fucking uh, police brutality. Fuck, man. That was yeah. funny. Yeah. I I'm will... not a horse against either of you. Love it. That's hella funny. Okay, so, so Gina, t tell us. And, I and, told Roto that I wanted to have like more of like a positive discussion. With this is positive. No, this is this is this is what it is. This is the movie hour. The this is the, I, the movie hour. Listen, so hold up. So let's go on the positive talk, right? Okay. Gina, okay. what would you like? What would you like to speak about? I mean, I you, think you got the ears of the movie game. I wanted to ponder, I guess. Like okay. Your, yes. Your guys' lingo on. You know, but what I like to do, what I love to encourage my people to do, like my girlfriends, my my family is like, and this is such a, a huge diversion from what you were talking about, Cinco de Mayo, and getting it's knocked, okay, getting knocked up by horses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just speaking uh, my truth. I'm, just but, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a real advocate for uh, lifetime learning. Yeah. And so and you know this is. A, is just kind of like a corny thing, but I did want to be able to say it before our movie hour is over. Is no, go ahead. Advocate for some kind of some kind of learning, and when people hear that, they think that that I'm talking about school specifically, like an institution. Which no, I, I mean even that. YouTube, even YouTube will teach anyone anything they need to yes. fucking know. Learn. So I, what I always say is like people are always talking about how. Or sometimes people get in like little ruts and they feel like, oh, I don't know where to go. I don't know what direction to go in. Or I feel like there's not, you know, they're lonely, what, what, whatever. But it's like that, that's a choice. And like, all you have to do is pick up something to learn and it can fix like so much things. It doesn't have to be cool. Like you guys are, you guys are clearly learning how to podcast and that's fucking dope. That's going to take hours of time and, and effort. And every time you do a new podcast, you're going to learn something new. And when you're, when you're learning, it's like you always have something to look forward to. Yeah. Like, I tell my friends, like, learn a language. Learn a fucking instrument. Like, learn how to play the piano. We have, like you said, we have YouTube. We yeah. have so many resources available to us where we could be out partying and acting crazy. Like, Is like, it safe to say that? Like, <laughs> doing donuts or we can be we can be somewhere putting our time into something more uh, productive and, and fruitful. Something that's going to... Going to to blossom into something that will actually benefit us down the line. So, damn, that was That's that was that was, was so beautifully put. <laughs> Listen, Mui Gang, no, this is I'm, why I'm, this is why we are. Okay, you guys ready for this? We are no, three, three, three of the world's, of the world's greatest, ponders. greatest ponders. Okay, Gina, we're going to say it one more time, and you got to yeah. say it with us, okay? Yeah, because we are, because we are three, three of the of world's, world's greatest, greatest ponderers. ponders. Yes. Yeah, you guys could benefit from a little bit of female energy and calming you the fuck down. <laughs> but listen, listen. We got, I got, I, I, listen, I have two daughters, and I'm so glad that I had my son. Shout out to my my son, uh, man, Frank, out Frank, to, that's Frank's shout godson. Out to, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Shout out to my that, godson. That's that, that Nino, uh, Nino Frank. You know what I'm saying? Am I saying that right in Mexican? It's Nino, just, right? Like if you're a godfather. Yes. <laughs> he said in Mexican. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm Spanish, bro. Yeah, I'm, God damn. 
I might be fucking ignorant. Hey, 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 I feel offended by that, dog. Listen, in Spanish, in Espanol, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Listen, I want you to repeat after me. It's Nino. 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 Okay, there you go. Yeah, so Nino. he is, he is Nino Spanish, Franklin. Not Mexican fool. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I'm I'm yeah, Filipino. I'm Filipino. Where like you know we are we have we have Spanish all up in us. You know are I mean? you Filipino? I'm Filipino. Yes. A hundred percent Filipino. No, I have like mad Spanish in me for sure. Like my, even my oh. like well, that's what the Filipino is. Dog. Yeah. The Filipino is like a Spaniard. Like, I'm like straight up mestizo. Like, I'm what? mestizo. Yeah. What's your nationality? Your turn. You share. He's a Panamanian. Me. I'm a Panamanian. Yes. Yeah, see, we want to. I'm Mexican and I'm uh, white. Also, my mom's white. My dad's Mexican. Yeah, so I'm, I'm a Panamanian. My my shit's so dosed up. That's you know what I mean? <laughs> For real, your shit goes you back to me? the motherland for sure. Yeah, so in yeah, your like ancestry, your shit goes up, back to know. straight Africa for real. Yeah, my, no, nah, my shit's tossed up. Ain't no telling what's in my shit. Everybody's <laughs> been trying to stick, stick, stick somebody or stick something or get stuck in my bloodline. You know, so my shit's mixed. Afro, you're you're Afro Latino, and that's like yes, um, I am. It's very. I would say it's more common, like in the East Coast, New York, like the, in the East Coast. Yeah, yeah like, or in Florida, even like Florida. You know, yeah, for sure. Yeah. For, here it's actually not as common and i always it is super cool yeah thank you appreciate I, that i love um hey, hey 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 shout out to the panamanians out yeah. there los racas los racas and the rest of you know what i'm okay. saying the, ra, the, the raca taca gang you feel me okay you know what it is well you know, know what, what is. shout out shout out to manny pacquiao how about that <laughs> shout out to manny <laughs> shout out to uncle manny you know what i'm saying <laughs> No, he's gonna bring up a fight from like what was that, 2012? 2000, oh, 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 they used to call him the Mexicutioner. Hey, oh my god, yeah, don't even start. Okay, you know what? We'll have, we'll have that stricken from the record. We'll have that stricken, stri- have that stricken for the record. No, but okay, so strike it. So with with backpacking off what you said, Gina. Talking about, um, you know, doing something positive. Like, I, I, I do want to advocate for all the listeners and all the movie gang out there. You know what I mean? Yes. In, in quarantine, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, don't deal with it like me. Like, you know, I have, I have three children and, and my, my wife is a nurse. So she is out there fighting the good fight. And I'm at uh, home. Shout out to, shout out to yeah, your sh- wife. Sh- shout out to Mrs. Bogard. And, um, shout out to Mrs. Bogard. Right? And you know what I'm saying? But, you know, me. I'm, you know, the Bogard. I'm just at home trying not to yell as fuck at my children because <laughs> I'm, I'm just like dealing oh, with it. And dude, then I feel that in my core. Bro, okay, I'm like a it's, buddy. And then like, you know, my my girl goes, quarantine's making you a fucking alcoholic, and I'm like, babe, I don't even know the fucking time or day. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, uh, and I'm, I'm you know, time for this shit. and I have hey, several. You know, I, have, you know, I think we have to recognize as parents too, is as much as we're trying so hard not to to yell at them because I have the same. I have two boys. They're teenagers. They're twelve and sixteen. They're about to be thirteen and seventeen. And yeah. and you know, I, I for a long time I was raising them. It, it was just me and them. But um, and now I have my boyfriend. Thank you, bless. Shout but, out to him. But as much as we're trying not to yell at them, I feel like they're trying really hard not to yell at our asses. Like yeah. they're fucking tired of us too. You know, they used to get the break of going to school for now real all day long, and it's like a. It's like beef in the house, you know. We're all like, "Get the fuck out of my." Hey, hey how's that? How's that working? Like, tell <laughs> buddy. I, so I know you said that. So that it's basically middle school and high school. Are they doing the Zoom like meetings in class and shit like that? They are. They are. I mean, and I feel bad because I feel like it's like such an important time that's getting taken away from For from real? my old. It's his junior year, and like, I think social interaction is so, so important. So so important because especially right now definitely i'm on their ass all the time because like i i like to keep a clean house you know i want them to to not be on their ass like sleeping until noon but it it is hard like you have to find that balance of like we do need to make sure that they're being smart with their school with their with their their physical stuff but also trying to keep like some kind of like steady regular regularity you know what i mean yes some, some kind of schedule they can't get used to being bums you know, like, right. yeah. like, like this is a lifestyle that we never have ever lived in. Right. Period. Period. I, I will. I will say one thing. One. One thing. Like, you know, as a collective, as like humankind in, in general, like we are all dealing with this at the same time, and this is the first time that we all 
have one thing in common and we can all come together on it. Ironically, they, we can't come together physically. You know what I'm saying? But like, come on, like think, think, like, think about all the alien movies, right? When the aliens come to invade and shit, human, and <laughs> humankind, they come together. Like, we need to fight the aliens, right? This is the right. first time we all have a common, like, issue. You know what I mean? Like... The common enemy. Yes, yeah, the yeah. common right. enemy. There you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. No wonder she's one of the one of three of the world's, world's greatest, greatest ponderers. ponderers. Well, so hey. let, let's let's ponder on that a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Let, let's ponder on that just a little bit. Like the fact that yeah. you know what I'm saying, where you know, like the world has to adapt. You know what I'm saying to to like you know the, our children doing schooling online, or or no, to no. the fact that we like, have to adapt to the world, dog. You feel oh. me? Because the world is. Oh, just yeah. shook it up. The, the people, and mother, and mother the nature ain't, ain't no ain't, ain't mother nature ain't nothing to play with. It is almost mother nature. This ain't this, bro, but, but this ain't mother nature, bro. This is some fucking human shit. Oh, but yeah, okay. that fools got parked. Super interesting recently that said like, you know what? What divides people is the ability to like see differences, right? So like, there's always fight about politics. There's always fight about whatever. Yeah. But, Games okay, and shit, shit and all kind of shit. Yes, it, it doesn't. It doesn't have any bias. It doesn't care if you're Republican. Doesn't care if you're mm. black. And like, this is something that we can't see. Something that doesn't give a fuck about how much money we have, who we yeah. know. Like, this is a true common enemy, and it's so important for people to recognize how real it is. And it's really it's like death. Huh. Like all the like stupid ass conspiracy theories on it and all this shit about like you know uh, it's just the flu it's like you know what dude mm -hmm. you know and love actually dies from that yeah I, I feel like the ignorance the ignorance isn't bliss in this case no. we're like people that are under there's so much misinformation out there and there's right. so much uh you know there's all these conspiracy theories like like gina just referenced you know what i'm saying and it's like really just Stay safe, like, like, and even, even uh, my man Frank over here, he had said it on one of our last episodes, like, you know, washing your hands and just staying clean. That's what you're supposed to have already been doing prior to the <laughs> Anyways. Apocalypse. Yeah. Yeah, but right. motherfuckers are nasty out here. See, right, For it's real. like wipe your ass. It's like wipe your ass, bro. You don't know how to wipe your ass. Motherfucker, <laughs> yeah. take a shower, all right? Like, what? Uh, you yes. don't know how to hop in that shower. Get that little mother, you know what I'm saying? Get your little shit zest zesting, zesty clean, you know what I'm yeah. saying, dog? That's your first face, dude. Like, I think that's another positive that comes out of it. Like, I don't like people all up on my ass when I'm in line somewhere. Fucking For real. Period. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, all in my motherfucking up. shit. I was telling Frank, I was telling Frank, it makes me a. Okay, how about this? We don't even call it grocery shopping no more. We call it a supply run. In the apocalypse, when we're, ste <laughs> we're, when we're stepping out of the house, we're going on a supply run. And I'm like, and I'm masked up, I'm gloved up, and I'm telling motherfuckers, please back the fuck up. Back the fuck up. Like, you know what I mean? You're way too close. I'm not getting close to you. Please, just, you know what I mean? Like, just to breathe over there. You know what I mean? Sure. Or even people breathe that don't. Well, like, no, and, and, and talking about the supply thing is like, I think it also really helps separate what is actually a necessity and what is yeah. a luxury. Want, want like, right. Right. Comes yeah. Right. Assets and liabilities. Yes, yeah, like we've come so accustomed to these luxuries and thinking they're necessities, like getting our nails right. done, getting our hair cut, right. right. fucking right. weak. Do all right. the things that like literally drain our resources are oh, everything. Yeah. And yeah, like look, we uh, uh, like I have. It's so crazy. It's so uh, vain. I, I miss. I miss telling my girl, "Hey, baby, hold on, here, hold on, go, hold go on, get a massage, get on. your nails done." Yeah, we're sure. time. We were on to something right yeah, yeah, there. Sorry, sorry, yeah, yeah, I, do this, I do this. I do this. I do this. And I just was gonna say really quick, and then I, and then I'll let you go. No, no, no. <laughs> continue, Gina. I'm sorry. But I was saying like I I have gone maybe like. 10 years with with either gel nails or fake nails and it's like the first time in, in such a long time that i'm like you know what my hands are fine i used to think Bingo. they were so ugly wow. so disgusting and it's so ridiculous like they're just fucking hands imagine how many thousands of dollars i've wasted hey, hey gina hey so let me ask you this question do you feel during this time right of of, of being shut down it's allowed certain it's allowed people to become more self-aware, and and it, and it has allowed people to become uh, more self-lovers. Do you believe that people are going to be coming out of this like, like, like with less self, insecure, like, like less insecure? No, with like better self-esteem. Do you feel yeah. like? 
I think I think that for sure, like it's it's helping us reevaluate our relationships in every angle, like not just right. with our relations with our partner, or with our children. But you're right, exactly right. Our relation with ourselves. It's like right. we're always looking for this validation in in areas that is never going to give us validation. We're always like wanting to go right. party. We're always wanting to fucking post stupid shit on Instagram, and it's like right. you can't even do that now because who cares? You're doing another selfie in your backyard, like. <laughs> <laughs> Fake you know, like, hold right, on, right. No, hold on. Can so, I so, say so, men? Hey, hey, men so, should so, never sure, post selfies, course. please. Men, no, men. but this is that. No, no, no. But but you got to realize this too is that like you know people do a lot of reaching besides just taking pictures of themselves. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Like that self acceptance. Like that's it. Mm. That's a, such a uh, that's a, such a fucking you know. When I fucking look around and I look at a lot of people in this world today, they're looking for people like, you know what I'm saying, the validation of somebody else to tell them that they're doing right. You know what I'm saying? Versus being thankful to God that he gave you these gifts and you're on your own path and you can hope that you can inspire on your way. They're looking for the mother. They're they're looking for people to tell them you're doing good. Like, I feel like the selfies and all these things are are just looking. Is that it's that fake vanity? You know what I'm saying? It's like. And I'm I'll, I won't I won't be a hypocrite. Like sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm gonna show off my tattoo or I wanna show off. Hey, my tattoo, you know what I mean? right? So I do it, but it's like we have to find no, the words. Like, are you doing it for fun or are you doing it because you're trying to fill a hole that is not right. really filled with social media? So right, right. Bogey, how do you feel about that? Bogey left the chat. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> pure. Em. Okay, so back over here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, you know, I love this shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, but this is the Moy Hour. You know what I mean? And 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 uh, real talk, you uh, spit a lot of knowledge. You know what I mean? You know, it's a it's a better perspective from a different individual, one of the world's greatest ponders. You know what I'm saying? That happened to stop by and bless us with her presence. I know, and, I'm, kind of bogey. I'm sorry. I hope I didn't interrupt him too many times. <laughs> nah, it's all good. <laughs> oh man, hella funny, dude. <laughs> Hey, but so so so, what do you have planned for this for this weekend, or or, or have you been told to, you know what I'm saying? Just be ready, Me? you know, for yeah, for this Mother's I, Day I, weekend. I'll hear something. Um, yeah, and happy, happy Mother's Day too, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Welcome back. Yes, thank yeah, well, you. Well, <laughs> Well, I, I, yeah. I legit, well, my, my, my youngest daughter, my youngest daughter was uh, calling me, so I legit, like, stepped oh, out like a ninja. Sweet. Oh, good for you. That's yeah, so, I, I, so I, I definitely jumped in the conversation right now, I heard Mother's Day, I was like, oh, yeah. happy Mother's and ha- Day, Gina. happy Mother's Day to your wife as well, yeah, especially, man. like, yeah. on the front line, like, fighting that fight, like, that's, that's fucking dope, dude, it's really, really, like. Yeah. And it really makes me paranoid too. I'm like, baby, when you get home, you better strip naked and burn those clothes every time. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I actually know some nurses that have like rented out like uh, studios next to the next to their place of work, just and, so they like, can go home and like de- and, and, and decontaminate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. they've, they've like chosen to like not be with their families for like the next couple months just so that they could be careful, which is a whole yeah, shout out, shout out to them, man. Yeah, super shout out to them. But um, yeah, for real. So I was going to say, Berto, actually, something super exciting. Um, I recently, he, Berto asked what I'm doing this weekend. And okay. so kind of make a medium story long. No, no. Um, or as I like to say, I, a long story I, longer. Yeah, yeah. I recently I recently got a, a big promotion. And with that came a raise that I wasn't expecting. And Shut up. Well, you know what? A raise. Thank, oh. thank you. Raise, give her money. And, yes, and, and I want to say a, that's a direct result of me actually almost finishing school, but that's a whole other, oh. another different episode. No, but I, I also want to say, <laughs> I also want to say you're welcome because we may or may have not have made the phone call. We we, we, <laughs> we, we made the call up top. You know what I mean? We're like, listen, Gina, top. she's one, well, she's yeah. one of three of the world's greatest ponderers. Go ahead and give her the raise. You know what I'm saying? And what I did with that, with that new revenue the new income that's coming in instead of like the first thing i wanted to do was go buy fucking gold and do this and do that i actually kind of just like check a look at my finances paid off a couple credit cards and yeah. set myself up we're actually going to be shopping for uh, a house this weekend oh nice. to make it. Go. Bim, 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 bim. congratulations and, Thank and, you. and for those of y'all for sure. gang out there that, that are wondering where the Jamaicans are, they're in tough quarantine right now. You know what I'm saying? Right. No, 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 yeah. darling. The showers are out. Yeah, yeah, yeah the showers are on this time. Showers are out. But you know what? Hey, you know, hey no, congratulations hey, you know what on that. Hey, hey I'm going to clap that up. I'm going to clap that yeah. up. Hey, real talk. Yeah, let's make hey, some I'm noise gonna, for that. Hey, 
Hey, cause I'm gonna tell you yeah. next, I'm gonna tell you something. There's 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 nothing like being a homeowner and that feeling that when you have that piece of property and your name's on that deed and yeah, you, you, know, you know what I'm saying? And it's and, and it's and it's and it's rent, good, you know. Rent and plus, take you know, my money. You know, plus, no, no, plus you know what though? I'm gonna have to say this straight up, hands down. As long as I know Gina, she has straight up been a hard worker. She has yeah. she listen, she has put her face to her business and she has, she has straight up fucking hands down handling it from being a mother, from being a student, from being a friend, the whole shit, been a solid ass individual, man, as long as I've known her. Yeah. And the reality of the fact is that, you know what I'm saying, there's a lot to learn from a lot of people and she's one of the people that I say that's in my world that I have learned shit from. And there ain't too many motherfuckers. And ain't too many people, you know so what I'm saying? And that's real. Safe to you know say? And, that, and that might be that, you know what I mean? But the reality of the fact is you are definitely, you know what I'm saying? And you are too. Yes. You've always been so good about, like, not just waiting for an opportunity, but you're, like, creating your opportunity. Oh, yeah. And, and creating your, your, your brand, right? Yeah. So, like, for me, like, what I recently started doing is I used to always look at owning a home or, um, anything like just being financially successful as being a dream i'd always used to say right. oh owning um, uh, it's, it's my biggest dream to own my own home but like now i'm trying to change, switch that mentality to it's a goal right like, you know it's not a nice. dream it's a goal like well, they, they do to, say right. um i heard a saying one time that resonated with me as a child they said wishes are dreams without a plan so yes. you know, or, or, or right. yeah so so goals yes go be goal orientated muy gang you know yes. what I'm saying? Show. So, so, yeah. Dream, like you can, like I used to, I used to think it was a dream for me to, to get my bachelor's degree because I had all these excuses like, oh, I'm a single mom, I have my children, I work full time. It's like, those are all excuses and like all you have to do is just try and just start and like every class so, you take will lead you to the right place and like right. you continuing with my education to this promotion which led me to this raise which now leads me to an opportunity to finally be able to purchase my and, and once again you're welcome Boom. we you're welcome you deserved it we had to make the call up top you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> you know well, yes, of course. what would i what I, would i be without some man calling and making sure I exactly <laughs> i'm like listen sure. she, she's exactly. been working hard exactly. Hey, hey, i know right exactly listen exactly where you're at listen <laughs> I, listen muy gang i'm being ignorant listen she worked hard and and earned every every you know, step of the way, and, and, and she's being she's being valued as such. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I, I agree you say, you know, a man made the phone call. No, this right. is, no. Sure. I'm just no, saying that to be funny. No, she. this is what it's about, putting in the work. You know what I'm saying? Not just sitting and pondering, not just sitting and thinking about it, like acting on it. If you're going to sit and ponder, Mui Gang, you got you to gotta really, you know, Ex expand your horizon then make a plan see the plan out you know what i mean write it down on paper even you know what i'm saying like it's, the moment you take it from your brain to something else like type it in your phone like you know what i mean like because that's you actively thinking about your plan you know what i mean don't just talk about it be about it i know that sounds cliche as fuck so, you know so, so hold on hey so hold on so, so, so just to jump in on that note right there right yeah so talking about being about it, you know what I'm saying? Let me start out with Bogey and then Gina, I'm going to hit you off, right? Okay, yeah. So being about it, what's the first thing you're about to be about when they pop the motherfucking gate, start? On this <laughs> when they open wow. the out... Well, uh, okay. Well, when they set you free, Bogey, go ahead. Let us know what you're uh, talking well, about, you know, I am, I am Bogard Scott Free, so I do have free in my name, right? And, and nothing, you know, with that said, nothing comes for free. And, and I like to believe time is man's greatest commodity and with that said you know I, I so I invest my time into certain things and like and I, I'll tell you this much with the quarantine I mean come on bro you know me I'm, I was already self quarantining for like goddamn what seven eight years you know I was just that guy you know right. what I mean like I so, right, right, right. so yeah. my question to you so, so my okay, question I'm to you I'm going again, to Lovix I'm going to Lovix I'm going to Lovix you want a lot of you get this. I don't even I don't even want their food. I don't even want their food. I want the sauce. I just I, every time I go there, I just buy bottles of the sauce and I I, I, put, I put it on everything. I put it on my chicken adobo. All that bullshit I said, the first place I'm going is to get a pedicure. Okay, yes. I heard that. There you go. Bro, I'm, I'm sending my girl to get that crito gel. You want crito gel? 
You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> that cradle jail. Hella funny. Oh man. Okay. That's hella funny. No, seriously though, like, you know, you know what I'll do for real though? It's like we will continue to be masked up and gloved up though. That's how I look at the world. Like it should it should be just protocol from now on. You know what I mean? Just like you know what I mean? Because because of the threat of this shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like uh, you know, I think I we, think, I think, I think I, that we have to be able to respond to emergency. Like Correctly, right. Yeah. And I honestly feel, and I honestly we feel have like protocol. people need to do more education besides taking what's given to you, fed to you. Yeah. Because I think you need to do research upon your own self. Yes. To see mm. exactly what you're dealing with, because they can tell you that this motherfucking shit is a toe eating monster, and the motherfucker ain't doing nothing of that sort. Yeah. Right. Just, just like you see everybody buying up toilet paper and doing all that. This shit don't even give you diarrhea. You know what I mean? This is a straight respiratory well, I, disease. Actually, I, I, so, I did hear you that. You know what I mean? Like, I feel a lot of people need to just be educated. A lot of people are lacking education and knowledge, and they're lacking. They're just lazy. You well, know what I'm saying? God forbid we have an actual huge earthquake. What would everybody oh, do? Oh, God. Uh, do you have, like, enough water? Oh, to my God. Oh, water? I, hey, I, got a gen- hey, I got a generator. I got them little shit uh, sticks where you fucking pull them out, and you can drink them out of oh, any Oh, we got water, sticks, you know B. We got well, sticks. Yeah. Hey, listen. Brrr. Hey, I got. Hey, I got a generator. You know what I'm saying? I got some batteries. I make sure every car got gas in the motherfucking yeah, shit. Yeah, I can't believe your like, and shit are gonna be pounding on your door trying to fucking. Hey, listen. I got guns. I got guns. Yeah, so yeah we, said we said hey. sticks. We said sticks. No, I mean to try to use your resource. We have to like. I'm selling like it. He said we have to be prepared for this next thing. Like we don't. We there's so many other. Um, Actually, awful like, things that happen yeah. like we that we feel like we're disconnected from because they don't happen directly to us but they could so like when people in houston got flooded we we, yeah. we feel for them but we we don't really truly empathize with them because we don't see ourselves in their shoes same right. thing with people that have wild that there's wildfires right. we feel it but we are not truly like empathizing because it's not happening we think that it can't happen to us but that's why they say you better stay ready so you ain't gotta get ready you know what I'm saying bro, I, that's real I, time. I, I literally sleep that's with my up. shoes on how about that I'm like my girl's like why are you wearing your shoes listen baby just don't even question this alright I'm in the bed shoes on you know what I'm saying straight up box of briefs shoes you know what I'm saying not even yeah, no socks that's... fuck it you know what I'm saying but anyways no, but no how about socks, this? Sadio. You, 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 huh? No, I, I, I wear socks. Come on, I'm fucking OCD. I'm so OCD. You already know me. You know what I mean? But if, check this out, yeah. bro. Uh, or actually, a uh, 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 movie gang. How about this? So, what, you know, when she she did reference that, uh, how how glad are we for these little mini earthquakes? Like, let's just keep relieving the fault line as much as we can. Give us the little minis here and there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like little little tiny uh, airports. Yeah. Airport. Yes. Give us those constantly. <laughs> like, 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 you know what I mean? Because we don't want that fault line. Because we are. Uh, this is it. The San Andreas fault. Am I saying that correctly? Yeah, the San Andreas fault line. Yeah. San Andreas yeah. fault. Don't give me money. You know what I'm saying? That shit like that shit like runs through my backyard and then through through the hood. No fucking way. No yeah. fucking way. Bro, yeah, real talk. That long ago, that entire freeways were falling down. That was what in '89. Like, yeah, you weren't even lying. I mean, with this COVID thing, I think it's again, it's something that is people don't equate it to being in. Some people don't equate it to being an emergency when it really, really, really is. So we all have to be prepared, and we all have to have like, we can't be so dependent on um, jobs that pay us, you know, monthly or weekly paychecks because look at how that work. Right. No. Hey. Because the reality of the fact is. You better make sure that you got a backup backup plan yeah. because uh plan A shit, through Z. Hey, hey, hey cuz shit goes left real quick and this and this right here really just showed who was prepared mm-hmm. and who and 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 uh, who had a little nest to survive. Hey, it puts a because, different perspective you know, on all the all the the little Asian ladies for years that we've seen growing up in East Side San Jose, they be driving around, they're already gloved up and masked up. Remember that? Like they were yeah. always like that because they are. No, they were just trying. No, they were just trying not to get darker. This is no, no, but, but they you know came. But they did come from a place though. They did come from a place that had SARS, a, you know, a SARS outbreak or mini outbreak, whatever have you, and a, a MERS and shit like that. So they already had protocol in their in their in their you know uh, what's the word in their repertoire. In their culture, and in their culture, uh, everybody they're used to like 
trying to protect themselves from like external pollutants like they come yeah because they are polluted as fuck over there yeah you're right yeah, yeah, no, you're right. Actually, I've had that discussion with um, my nail lady back then, <laughs> and like yeah. how they, they regularly wear their masks and they protect themselves from the sun, but it's also because they're protecting themselves from like from pollution. Because in, yeah. in, in, in in even in the Philippines and in, in other parts of Asia, like you know, what I'm saying like it's just really polluted as fuck over there. Like the like if you're when you're flying over that shit, you will see the dark gray clouds, and it's not even like. It's not even precipitation. It's goddamn pollution. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 You know? It's crazy, man. But it's all good. I need a time check. <laughs> uh-huh. I said I need a time check. What, do you know what I can't Oh, uh, yeah. Hold up. Yeah, because I... You Boom. Know, let, let, That's let, just about running that. Let's, let's, let's close this thing out then. So, let, let, let's, let's go on one more... Let's go on one more topic. Right? One more rabbit hole. Okay, yeah, well, yeah, yes, yes, because I, I, I do tend to take us down several rabbit holes, right? You know what I'm saying? So I want, I want to take you guys down a rabbit hole. If you have so much knowledge in your head, and you just figure out how to share it with the world. It's okay. Right. <laughs> well, yeah, and, right. And you know what's crazy is my girl, she can't stop my madness. She's like, just she just lets me run wild. You know what I mean? She's you're like, not, you're she not, needs this. He's like this. Uh, uh, or like, show. Uh, <laughs> show. Uh, no, That's okay. So well, then. <laughs> okay, so, I love being wild. Yeah, you know what, dude, and and I, I and how about this? I miss being out in the wild. You know what I mean? Like, I really do miss being out in the wild. Like, I because... love being wild and in control. You know well, what I'm okay. saying? Let's go run up and down the hills of Tully or something if you want to so bad. <laughs> and I actually sure. used to live there too. Shout out right. to San Saba. <laughs> I, I call it urban hiking. Urban hiking. Love it. Shout out to Urban Hiking. Urban Hiking, give me money. Okay, so... Give our, me money. Yes. <laughs> okay, Gina. We're, 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 Gina, in yes. quarantine, and I know you're still working, you know, you're working remotely, correct? Yes. So, now tell me, what what is it, what, what are, you know, you were t- speaking on the, you know, the, the things to make yourself better, and you're, you know, you're promoting that, and I love that. But like so, so what are you actively doing too right now? Like you know, learning and, and schooling or whatever. Like what what are you? How are you dealing with this? Like and, and, and uh, making making lemonade, I guess you could say, out of the lemons that quarantine gives us. That's a great question. So I mean, I'm totally busy with work during the day, but I've gotten so used to um, studying and learning at night because of all these years of being working towards my bachelor's degree, and now I'm at the finish line. Like I literally have um, two. Summer class. Sorry, I burped from my <laughs> from my sparkling water. I burped from my sparkling water. So it happens. Two summer it's classes. carbonated. It's carbonated. I'm finished, but just seeing that the finish line is there, and I and I'm like, oh my god, I could see the finish line. I already am like itching to learn something new. So Ooh. I started to teach myself um, the piano. I bought nice. on M- I got like a hundred dollar keyboard, and then I downloaded an app, and I'm trying to teach myself piano. And because I'm going to be purchasing this, or want to purchase a home, instead of just going into it like blindly, I actually just invested in myself. I paid yes. a hundred dollar course online that will sh- teach me how the real estate world works. So yeah, at the end it's of cutthroat. It, yeah, at the end of it, I'll either if I want to, I could get licensed as an agent or whatever. But if I don't, the worst case scenario is that I have a really solid knowledge of that world, and I'm not going into this huge life changing purchase without some understanding of what I'm doing. So But why yeah. not get licensed? Huh? Why not get licensed? That's just another notch underneath will. the belt. I another notch will. underneath I mean, the fucking belt. I, something I didn't share yet is that I actually already have three degrees. I have a degree from the University oh, of Oh flex Phoenix. on them, Gina. Flex, <laughs> flex on them. Stupid flex it. Hit them like this. They're like three flex three it. Degrees, but they're three it doesn't degrees. matter. And I have a degree from University of Phoenix and I have two degrees from San Jose City College. And I'm working on a major from San Jose State with a minor as well. So, um, stupid all, shouts. That, all of that has to, that was more oh. of like a, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I try to say it quiet. When, I try to do it quiet so that I don't interrupt her. <laughs> uh, he learned. Because I've, I've, I've been interrupting yeah, her like several take times. This opportunity, this quarantine to, to always be learning. And even like something I didn't mention last year with San Jose State, um, I, decided to do a study abroad program. Everybody kind of like 
was trying to talk me out of it, you know, telling me like, how are you going to, how are you going to leave work? How are you going to leave your kids? And I actually had enough vacation time to do it. I was wow, able to, brilliant. to take care of my kids. Yeah. To, I went to Berlin and Germany Ooh. And, I, and I knew do we, that. Do we still have time to go down that rabbit hole? Can you tell us about that in Berlin? Yeah. So like, yeah. So have like, you, have you been to Biswa, Germany? I only went to Berlin. Okay. But, months before I was I knew I was going to go and I didn't want to be ignorant going to Germany so I started to teach myself German nice I, Look I, at I, that. I don't speak German I'll say that I don't speak German but I I learned a lot of vocabulary and when I got there I was the only student that really was able to um, communicate with the local people and be able to nice. find and things like that and it was just like so valuable and like um it's just that's a rabbit. It is a rabbit hole. I'm sorry, but I no, no, no. This is great. Good. This is what we do. We love going like, down rabbit. Yes, holes. this is what we do. <laughs> All you have to do is put the time and effort and energy and sometimes a minimal investment. But as long as you're investing in yourself, it it reaps so much rewards. So yes. like, you know, it's just it's the shit that we have to do that not everybody wants to do. But if if they put as much time into something like that as but they put into go, going back to what you said earlier. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, I just want to say this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 this no, is good. This no, is really I'm good. You off. No, no, this I'm is really good. You, you have to be able to diagnose the difference between the needs and wants. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Listen, she was bruh, the goddamn jewel. I know, but I was just gonna reference something yeah. she said earlier by but saying you, you cut, being able to different differentiate the difference between needs and wants. Go ahead, continue. Oh, perfect. So actually, what? See, perfect. See what she said. Well, what Frank. I was going to say, if they time investing in themselves than they did investing in other people, then they would just have a better quality of life. And, like, with, with going to Berlin, people might see that as, like, a, a luxury, but I gained so much life knowledge that, like, priceless things that people that we, where we come from when we grew up, they'll, they'll, they'll live and die and never see something like that. So it's never. It's real. Self and something that really was worth the money, and I and I had like uh, nothing but positive gains from it. So, hey, so let me ask you this question: Have you ever noticed that you sit around and you're surrounded by a bunch of your friends, and you sit there and you get to thinking, like, dude, how many of my friends have ne- don't even have a passport? How many of them have oh, yeah. never even been on a fucking airplane, right? And let alone how many of them have really even been out the country? And they act like they know everything. It's like, motherfucker, you stay uh, in one spot. <laughs> Well, I think that for our friends that we care about the most, what I want to do is just try to encourage them to step out of that box, step out of this. I mean, I love the East Side so much. I'm not even kidding. Like, I'm very prideful of where I come from. For sure. But it's important to encourage people to understand that there's an entire fucking world outside of it. Right. The universe. And yeah, so like with my friends that maybe haven't had the same experiences, I just try really hard to encourage them and let them know that they can do so much more than what they have been conditioned and exposed to think that they have to do correct oh boom sometimes you gotta just you gotta just sometimes people grow apart and you know not that you don't like them anymore but maybe they're just not contributing to your life in a positive yeah god damn there's sometimes you know what there's some people we have to love from afar you know what i mean yeah Mm -hmm. i feel like i feel like people treat me like that I'll right. admit, like, there have been times in my life where I'm not making the best choices, and I've had people that have been like, oh, Gina's partying too much, I can't can't do that. And so, like, one of the hardest things is swallowing that pill and realizing, like, damn, like, I, I lost that friendship or I lost that relationship or whatever because I was making bad choices. And it's like, it's right. like none of us are perfect, and we have to just acknowledge those L's yeah. and use them, carry them with us to the next win, well, you know? Gina, I, I, I do want to backpack off what you said, and this is going to be ignorant. This is a disclaimer. I have oh. swallowed a few pills in my time. You know what I'm saying? And oh. made some bad choices. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, I have, for sure. I have, like, I have. Oh, wait, I didn't get it. You know what I'm talking oh, about? Hold on. They went over <laughs> no, you didn't go over your head. Shout they out to the late great Mac J. <laughs> no, no, continue, Gina. I'm, you know, I'm just being me. I'm sorry. No, I didn't. I didn't get. I didn't hear it. So. <laughs> oh no, I was just. I was just referencing the fact that I may or may have not have swallowed a few pills in my time. Oh, you know pills. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, no, I, I was. I, no, good, I was just. Ma- I was just making it ignorant. Let me say this. There's one thing that I have told my children from the moment they can comprehend. I've told them. You know, I understand you're going to experiment probably with weed. You're probably going to drink a beer here and there. 
don't fucking ever in your life fuck pop pills. any fucking pills. Don't yeah, fuck pills, dude. Because like our generation, we didn't have people dying left and right from overdoses. They're oh my god, for real. Because we because we had the we had the um yeah you know I won't even I'm not gonna elaborate. Continue. No, it's just, <laughs> no, because I remember what Frank told me. He's like, just don't do you to the max. I was like, yes. Ever. No, no, don't do no fucking mass. Just don't do it. That's a, it's a, uh, it's a yeah. very, it's a, it's a, it's a sad thing. It's, an, it's another silent killer that doesn't give a fuck who you are, how smart right. you are. And it's like, realistically, you know what I'm saying? At our age, if you're trying to pick up new habits and you're going harder in these habits, you well, need you to go and cut problems. that shit out. Yeah, hey, you know what I'm saying. You, you need to catch it. Pick up a book. <laughs> yeah, right, or, pick up a book or, or like, go pick see up a, a, a fucking jar. Go walk. No, go, on, go outside. Go on a go Zoom outside. meeting and talk to a therapist. Like talk to someone, yeah. or go even just talk outside. to someone. Period. Like, you, you know, you, you know why I'm so grateful for Franklin, Gina, is because like, you know, you know what started this podcast is just me and Franklin having these 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 conversations. <laughs> All the time, oh, yeah. like, they, like yeah. we literally <laughs> have these conversations, and all we're doing is recording it now. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's an excellent listener, and he gives very, very good um, insight into whatever you're talking about. Berto is a amazing human being as well, and definitely someone you can learn from. <laughs> you are too. <laughs> I love Holy him. I love him. He's the best. He's the best. Hey, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm not gonna downplay him. Hey, he's if the you shit. ever hear that clip come up in like a highlight of my life, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. Just understand, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm I'm snatching up all real big ups and I'm putting in a highlight reel in oh, of my life of real people, like... and I appreciate that because you know what, man? I just try to love people. You know what I'm saying? And I like like minded people that are fucking smart and that fucking like to create. I like creators. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I might not see the same light as you, right? But that doesn't mean that it's wrong. You know what I'm saying? I just don't understand your light and maybe you just need to show me and I'm willing to to take a second to get to to, to understand if you're if you're willing to teach me, you know what I'm saying? So again, man, you know, when like minded people like yourself, Gina, like yourself, Bogey, yeah. you guys show me this 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 love, man. I cannot do nothing but totally fucking take that shit like an energy fucking boost up because I think y'all motherfuckers <laughs> is dope. I think you guys are dope and that's some real life shit, man. Well, like you well, know, life, I, I, I life I strongly believe in I I strongly believe in that I'm a reflection of who I surround myself with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it goes vice versa, where it's like the people that choose to let me be around them, it's like, well, they they, they should believe the same thing that we are reflections of who we surround ourselves with. And Mui Gang, you know, choose to surround yourself with like minded individuals. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? Because like the the art of conversating like this this podcasting in, in general right the art of being able to just talk to each other like people don't talk like people would rather text these days mm-hmm. you know what I mean oh god where it's like I'm I'm gonna tell my motherfucker I'm gonna call you at three in the morning and bother you it's like dumb I'm yeah I don't give a fuck get up right I can't now. stand you goddamn texters yeah <laughs> I need I need, then, I need and, some interaction and, and then people need to put emojis. They need to put emojis to make so they to put preference on what they're actually saying. Like motherfucker, I, I, I am an emoji. <laughs> like I could be like <laughs> shut. What Bogey was saying about um, surround yourself with like-minded people. Do that, and then if you find that the, that environment is not like positive for you, or dip, dip getting out. you to change that environment, seek yeah. out people that you that if that have a mindset that you want to have. Like if you're not doing good, if Ooh. you're want to make money then stop hanging out with broke people who are flossing their money if you if you want to if you want to be like if you want to stop being around hoes then go hang out with ladies you know <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm tired of the I'm freaky gonna... highness <laughs> hey frank i love hey hey, hey i love you freaky highness but i'm tired of you freaky highness Hey, Fra- Franklin, Franklin yeah. had to stop himself. He had he had a thing or two. He was like, I'm about to take us down another rabbit hole, but we won't. No <laughs> rabbit holes. No rabbit holes. No. Now, listen. I'm not going to be an episode without me on it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, I'm straight fucking uh, soaking up game right now. We just have you know to what I'm saying? And, like, and it's also, it's not about, like, going and, like, bothering people and, like, you know, I, I always feel like if I want to learn from somebody, I want to also be able to come to them with some, some kind of value I'm, nobody's gonna be like yeah come learn my learn my shit if you if you're really like interested in learning something then then show actual true commitment do some research do it yeah. yourself put an effort put an effort 
Right. Like, I feel like people put in put, people put in more effort to like downplaying things, and it's like that same effort that they could put into that. Like, like you could you could research it, like you said. Or how about this? I like to say we're living in the era of smartphones, and all these dumbasses have the the world on their hip. The, the, the universe yeah. is on their hip, in their pocket, on the smartphone, and they're dumb as fuck. Like, I don't get it. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I hate when people ask me for directions or something says, like, motherfucker, you have a smartphone. Why are you bothering? Right. Like, the simple thing uh, yeah. use, you, use, you, your, use your resources well, before you, before you right. ask for someone else's time, you know? Right. And if you do ask for it, make sure that you're fucking willing to spend it right, because... You know what I mean? We, we ain't got no time for the fuckery. I will say that I do, and that sounded mean what I said, but I do, I, when people, when I am looked to as like a source of knowledge for something, then I don't mind at all sharing that, that knowledge, you know? Like, I, I do have like a lot of my friends that ask me about like skincare stuff because I worked with Sephora for a little bit, and I love sharing that knowledge. It's just like, um, yeah, why not? We're not for, shady. Don't ask me for advice. Don't ask me for a discount, you know? <laughs> uh-huh. Can I ask you a question, Gina? When is your birthday? June twenty fourth. June twenty fourth. Cool. You're oh, you're right. a cancer you're a like. No, no, she's I'm a cancer. cancer. Right. She's Are a you cancer, cancer like you, bro? Oh, you just right, right. Cancer yeah, and, like and my daughter. Shout out to my daughter too. That's, shout no, out to the no, no wonder game. because cancers are some of the most optimistic people I've ever encountered in my life. I love you guys. <laughs> no, seriously. Hey, it makes some, hey, hey, no, it makes some people sick. It makes some people mad that they just they're like, how in the fuck can like you just be intended? so damn happy? Yeah, like it's, a, like, like it's offending. Like it's like offending. Like glass half full than a motherfucker. I'm a Sagittarius, yeah, no, my, so I'm, that's my just my view. Full. I think that I'm just generally emotional, so I have to work on controlling. Because it could be, I think, be emotionally mad, emotionally sad, sad emotionally happy, and like, well, that's well, what, well, how about this? My daughter. Remember, I told you my youngest daughter. She came through and she was asking me. Like, you know, in, in mid-podcast, she's like, can I use a computer? Are you done yet? And I'm like, you know, because she is the one that, she's, uh, she's the cancer. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 July 5th, right? Uh, and she's just like, well, I have nothing to do. And I'm like, baby, uh, relax. I'm like. Uh, no, no yeah. fucks given. Yes. That's, that's, what I, that's what I love, too, about the kids is no fucks given. And that's what it's all about is these kids, man. It really is, we man. Need, we, need, we, need, we need to take care of these kids, man. Even even when they're not our kids, we need to take care of these kids in the community. And as, you know, women and men we, that are older, we need to be good stewards to show these kids love because a lot of kids don't come from homes where it's so much missing, man. Yeah. you got to just love these little people out here because the little people are the future, man. And we got to show them, like, even though that little ones, they might be hurting. Little ones, you mean? Right. Not, just, not, not just period, just no, in I'm general, just saying, man. Like, people, you know, like, like, you know, not, not just like the younger kids. Kids, man, you know what I mean? Right. In general, teenagers get kids in their twenties. Period, man. You know, I feel like we need to be influencing and showing them love because it's, it's real hostile, and they've made hostile being like cool. And at the end of the day, like you know, it's you can cool. still be cool and be a knowledge seeker. You can still be cool and yeah. get your goals. You can still be cool and you can still you know be who you are as an individual out here and be able to accept yourself okay. and love I got yourself. One but more. To, I got one more, and then we legit will close this thing out. Though, you did oh, yeah. I got one more. <laughs> so, Gina, like, mm-hmm. how are you, what's your view on your your children with social media? Like, do you allow them to have it? Like, oh, you, because... Yeah, he, 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 that's a good question. I mean, um... No, because I'm so, just, because he, he actually so sparked people, a ponder, pondering well, moment. Well, I think that there should be, like, a... Number one, we can't we can't really a hundred percent stop Fil- them yeah, or right? filter them. Yeah. So so uh, I for my own kids, I tried really hard to fight them having their own phones as long as I could. But it got to a point where they're like, but, but they also need them. They need to have their own phone, like to find them. Even you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and I mean they're like the only kid in their whole school that, that doesn't wouldn't have, have one. Yeah. So I know kids, it makes them not both cool my in that kids sense. Got phones at twelve. And then they both asked permission before they got social media. And then I, um, then when they had social media, I made sure that I was on their social media so I could see. And their boys, they're really, they love, love sports. So most nice. of their would be on, be on sports, but. It's like I would say kids. subscribe, tell them to subscribe because I do a fantasy football show as well. But oh, you know what? I don't think, I don't think they should subscribe to me. <laughs> <laughs> 
But I, so for me, for me, I, I, I have like, I don't try to do it too much because the reality is if they really want something, they're going to find it. Sure. Like they have access to the internet in Period. more ways yeah. than just their phone. So I, but I mean, I think it would be different if I had a little girl. I would say that, which is horrible. That's a whole different conversation. I don't want to fall into like gender specific. Like, well, I, no, 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 no. This is why I'm asking because I have a 12 year old daughter. Who is uh, like, a, you know, like a pre, she's a tweener, straight up a tweener right now, straight up just like talking back, like, you know, dad, you don't know. And I'm like, damn, like, you know, and I, and I, I remember, you know, I had like, I had an older sister. I mean, I have an older sister. She's nine years older than me. And I remember being like the kid watching her like argue with my dad, you know what I mean? <laughs> Where it's like, so my approach was like real specific, like, okay. You know what I mean? I am her dad, but I have to be like, you know, I, I don't want to be the friend, but I just have to understand. I just have to understand. And like, it's so crazy because, you know, her t she's on TikTok and, 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 and we don't let her get on, we don't let her get on Instagram or any of that other fuck shit. You know what I mean? But she has a TikTok because I'm, I'm such an old head. I didn't even know that what TikTok was. Right? Yeah, it's like the young kid's Twitter. Yeah. yeah. And bro, so... But it's crazy. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back to the question. I'm, I'm been, you got me so built up right now. Okay, good, yeah. Well, go, ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, Gene. It sounds like you're a really, really good dad, first off. Like, you being there and caring and even bringing that up is one thing. I would say that all you have to worry about is just, like, really being that source of love for her, which I know you already are, but all these problems and the issues with young women, I think, come from their them feeling insecure, and it's because yeah. they don't have someone who's... The, you know, your your father should be that one who loves you no matter what you look like, no matter h h what you wear. Like, they're not going to be looking for validation from a, a boy or from a man if they already have this solid, like, love from their father at home, you know? Yeah. Which sounds like you're already doing that. That is true, though, because, God, come on, Franco. Know. Franco, you know, <laughs> we, we hey, so you know, hey, a lot so of those, so a lot so those young highness, those so, so highness, so they have no dad. Yeah, no. No dad. And my, my dad always did really like, he's always, he's such a good dad. He's always like been very um, supportive of, of me and my sisters. And my mom, on the other hand, was always, she's also supportive. She's super smart, super driven. So like, I think that their influence is definitely. Man, that's, and, yeah, the thumbprint is there. Like, yes. Oh, man. That's great. No, I'm, no, I'm, no, I ask the questions too selfishly to make myself better. That's why I asked no, you. We're you know all no, no, the, Bowie. I love that but because she just shot the jewels. Kids. Yeah, she really did because because look look at look at what you're doing right now as as an independent woman. I mean, yes, you have you have a man and stuff like that, but you know, I know you you've been independent for the most part. You know, what I'm saying part you're raising your own your two sons, and I, I appreciate what the jewels you're dropping right now, and jewels as, jewels. I, as I, we like to call it. Because oh. I am a father of daughters, and you know what I mean. I, I these are the things that keep me up at night. Like I, I do ponder on these things. Like, am I, am I negatively affecting them, or am I positively affecting them? Like, as you know, because we are the opposite sex. Where it's like, I, and I'm, I'm so glad that I have my son now. Where it's like, I feel like he just gets it, and maybe that's a cop out. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean matter of fact, like, bro, like, how about this? We got a goddamn. It's a house. It's my girl. My two, my two daughters, and then we have a girl bunny, right? We have a pet bunny. And she's a female, right? And then run I was like, shit. and I'm like, bro, when my girl was pregnant, we did a gender reveal, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, and we never did that with uh with our, our daughters, you know what I'm saying? And then I was like, dude, if he's a, if he if, if if this baby comes out and it's a girl, I swear to God, I'm gonna buy like five boy dogs. I'm just gonna be like. <laughs> I'm like, I just need more testosterone. And then when he came, when he, when it was my son, and I was like, thank you, God. I called like, it. I called it. Yeah, you did call it. You did call it. Franco, you did call it, man. And, and, I called it. And being one of my, you know, one of my mentors in life, bro, you know what I'm saying? And just one of the people who made me a, like just a better person all around. That's why, you know, you are you are a godfather to my son. You know what I mean? Like, I love you. I, was, I, I love you. Cool. No, seriously, like me and Frank, bro, we go. Shout back. out, shout out, shout out, shout out to my other godson Levi. Shout what out. What do? I know he's out there kicking up dust. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know Levi For was a reason. too. How sweet. Yeah. 
I didn't Shout know he was awesome. being, uh, being uh, anonymous either. He just called you Frank. <laughs> Am I supposed to not call you by your name? I, I mean, forget. you know what's no, funny? Is, you know what's funny? Is he, he's he's fine with it now, but before he'd be like, we'd get off no. air and he'd be like, stop saying my government. No, name. Like, no, no, that's right. because it, that I don't know my mind either. No, that's because it's hot topics. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. And I'm like, so and if I would have been smarter, I could have not used my first and last but, name at the beginning and could. No, no, no. But you know, what? I can cut that out if you you know if you want. You know what I mean? You know what, man. But, but Wait, also at the same time, Google. you might be a person they would would, would want to Google. Google her. You know what I mean? And and and, and then you might get an inspiration. You know what I'm no, saying? No, you will get inspired. You will. Fuck you know a mic. I mean? You will get inspired. Yeah. Um, thank you, guys. This has actually been really super duper fun. Yeah, I, it, it is like, fun, right? This is what we do. I actually have a conference call at 1.30, so I have to... <laughs> right. No, for oh, sure. Good. I gotta, well, you yeah. know what? Gotta, Movie this game. This episode. Every, yeah, this is episode 12. It. 12. And this your has ass. been three of the of world's, world's greatest, greatest ponderers. ponderers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually really enjoy all this. I really appreciate Boogie. Thank you. It was so nice to meet you. And thank you for the time. For sure, man. Any- entertaining my diversion from your, you know, your guys' topics. And Bert, so <laughs> it's all good. I'm, I'm a fucking madman. Just too. be clear. Let's be clear. I'm fucking mad. <laughs> 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 for sure. For sure. Hey, you uh, guys all have a good one. Be safe. Yeah, for sure. Lo- happy Mother's love. Day to all the yeah, mothers happy, out there. Happy yeah, Mother's happy Day. Mother's Day. Thank you, guys. I'm going to jump off, okay? All right, yep. for sure. All right. Okay. All right, all right bye. Bye. Thank you, Gina. Bye. Frank, you. love you, brother. Later. Later. Peace. <laughs> Okay, Yon, you're gonna use you could use the computer.